What's going on everybody? We are back. It's your friend Will. This is Memory Lapse. And we're going to go into our last round with this new Drake's deck featuring Terramander. Got out of some pretty tight ones in the last video. Navigating the mirror. Unclear if our opponent had Nivmizit or Rao. So, I mean, per perhaps they did and they knew better and you're not supposed to go bigger in that matchup in the mirror, but for us going bigger seemed to work. And we got there eventually. Also, they could have just drawn neither both those games. But that's neither here nor there. We're focusing on this match now. Hmm. Too hot. Even in the winter, I usually prefer iced cold brew but it's so cold this morning I can't go out and get it um, all right in the dark I think we keep this we've got mana in the right colors some early draw and two drakes it's not red deck so good for us bully for us I guess we'll have to decide next turn. Hmm. So we're gonna, we're gonna fade, maybe face a beat down here. They're keeping that. Alright. Let's just discovery, look for like a lava coil or something. I don't think we can draw either of these lands. Hmm. All right, I hear you loud and clear top deck. All right, so we're probably just getting beat down this game. This is the type of draw that I think this deck can, can lose to. Uh, I think probably generally this is a good matchup, but the turn two, four, three, just presenting a clock into us having no interaction. Now this wild growth walker is in the scale bigger than our drakes. All right, so let's shock the branch walker. We're also put into a position now where we're playing into a Vivian or removal because we kind of have to get this crackling drake down to start blocking. You know, the upside is at least these are drawing cards <clears throat> and forcing interaction. Next one will get protected by a spell pierce. Yeah, that's exactly what we didn't want to walk into, but I don't think we really had a choice. We can't sit and take seven, because then <clears throat> even if we can protect it, we're dead. So these are the draws that make the green-black players say like, damn, why is this matchup so hard? Like, I just curved and they didn't protect their creatures. But I think our draw was rather awkward. I've certainly been on this side of the green deck matchup, like this thinking like, wow, this Drake's deck is easy. Yeah, so we actually just lose here. Unfortunate. That discovery was brutal. I think we needed to discovery into, I don't know, anything other than land would have been pretty great. Um, in this matchup, hmm, probably taking these discoveries out, bringing in the star, bringing in the strokes. And other than that, I think it's a question of... The Rouse, the Nivmizit plan, the Treasure Map plan. I think we these are too slow. 
I think we want to be faster. Now the, the entrancing melody is kind of interesting. And I think if we win game two and we're on the draw game three, we might want to consider it. Oh, I need one more card, huh? All right, let's put in one entrancing melody. I don't think it's worth bringing the ship and fires. The cannonades. The cannonades we've had in all these sideboards for white decks that we're just not seeing right now. Alright, we'll take the play. Get some removal, some draw. We can keep this. So hopefully the chart will draw us into a Drake that we can protect. Surprisingly, they keep that. I mean, I, I, it's not like we're under a ton of pressure that we need to just kill that, but getting spells into the graveyard is good. We don't need the third spell pierce, we need land. Or this is fine too. We need land so we can protect it. So brutal. We discarded that land, assuming that we would draw one more. Alright, I guess we play the Enigma Drake and hope that they play Chupacabra on it. Yep. It's a better tempo play for them to get the extra damage in play. This is so disappointing. We can still win this game, but it's just getting further out of our reach now that we're stuck. Maybe the pierces are supposed to come out. There's a card we can't interact with. Yeah, we lost. Oh, well, sorry guys, this is a disappointing one. Kind of just getting stuck here. And now, of course, we're given two lands off this chart. Um, yeah, super disappointing to lose it like this. But we're not gonna be able to. We're not gonna get to Star of Extinction in time, and we're not gonna be able to beat the Carnage Tyrant. So. That's just, you know, again, I think what the only games we lost with this deck were games where we kind of beat ourselves with draws like that, like drawing no red sources, just swap, just islands, um, was how we lost the third game to the Esper deck, and here just super awkward draws both games, so this deck is obviously extremely powerful, you can understand why someone would be able to top 8 an event like one with it in a wide open field, just it has gaming against everything, like we 2 owed the red deck we played against, and uh... It was close, but it wasn't like we got particularly lucky. We just beat them down faster than they could and beat us down when you interacted with them. So, absolutely a great deck, but prone to beating itself. Uh, as we demonstrated in those losses, but I hope you enjoyed it. Let's take a look at some of the stuff that we're going to be looking to play starting this weekend uh, when Ranked resets. So, obviously, we have our most recent version of the Nimbizit deck. Um, after the last series, we made some changes to this. And, yeah, including some changes to the sideboard. So now we can go up to the full four Lava Coil. I think we still have too many counter spells here, because in those matchups, we will probably want to bring in three, six, maybe nine cards. And finding nine to take out is a little bit tough. 
so we might be a little bit overly sideboarding for control. But this is definitely something I want to play with a lot in best of three. Um, and I also want to play with this take on the Gates deck. This is a list that someone's been working on who went pretty deep into day two of the Star City Games event. That's just like a more honed version of the Gates build that also plays White Gates for Clarion and Archway Angels and uh, Nexus Fate, but without really a way to loop them. It's more just like, let's ramp up and take some turns and use them to help us turn the corner and win. So that's pretty interesting, and I guess with Guild Summit, you're drawing into them relatively easily. Expansion Explosion, and it's another way to make use of the Wilderness Reclamation mana, uh, which I kind of like. That's what I feel like these decks are sometimes missing. These wilderness decks is like you need a way to make use of that mana on their turn that's beyond just expansion explosion like floating so lastly uns and unsurprisingly i want to play with another i don't think i have it built yet but taking something like this bant reclamation deck and tuning it to have a lot more flash creatures in it so playing like four angels of grace um potentially some dream eaters not Chromium. Uh, Frilled Mystics, potentially things like Wrath, and trying to take advantage of the mana as much as possible. So playing this more like a Bant tap out, double tap out kind of control deck, and seeing how that feels. And we can keep in like one Dawn of Hope to, to abuse the mana. Um, probably means trimming some Teferis down to like two, maybe going up on the Absorbs. But a less controlling build, something that controls, like, controls and then wins very quickly. And Angel of Grace is a card I want to play with, so we'll probably be looking to modify this deck to do something like that and have some fun with it. So yeah, that's that's kind of the plan for ranked. We're going to be playing best of three, not best of one, and see how it feels ranking up. They're going to make announcements um, the next day or so about maybe if the rewards are different, if they're changing... Um, the amount of games, like I don't know. So all the announcements that they're adding best of three, which we're excited about. This is my excited face. And uh, so you got that to look forward to. And of course, we'll still be grinding gold on the side. Let's see, I have not really been playing. It's like I've fallen a lot by not playing in the last week or so. But that's okay, because there's really no rewards for being high mythic right now. I would love for them to implement something to give us a reason to grind. But yeah, that's it. That's it for this one. We'll keep it short two disappointing uh, games there, but we still got the four wins, so happy to make the gold, happy to get the wild card, or not the wild cards, happy to get the gems since the ICRs were cards we already had apparently. So yeah, that's it for this one, and I, oh, last thing, I don't know if there's going to be a video on Friday because uh, I may not be able to record um, between now and then, but we'll put something up uh, definitely for sure on Monday. Uh, you know, and hopefully we'll stream over the weekend. So look forward to that. Uh, like, subscribe, and comment. Do all the good stuff. Follow the Twitch. And we'll see you all later.